Hey, good morning, friends, and welcome to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey, guys, today we're going to talk to you about fall walleye jigging the Detroit River. Stay with us. <music> Fellas, fall is just a magical time of year. Fall weekends are my absolute favorite. I love the fall weather, I love the timing. I love football. Last night, my son and I got to go catch a high school football game, a playoff football game. Got up this morning, had some steak and eggs for breakfast. It's 50 degrees, and I believe it's going to be a great day on the river. Hey, guys, one thing you got to keep in mind, fall jigging is a little bit, there's a few differences between fall jigging and spring jigging. You got to approach fall jigging just a little bit differently. I got something oh, I got small, too. too. I think mine might have come off. Maybe not. Yeah. Frankly, it's, uh, it's ridiculous what they make it seem like no, no uh, true lures. Yeah. This might be a walleye, boys. Oh, it's all good. on the same head here without question the hot bait on Saturday was Lance Valentine's slim minnow in the popsicle color the vast majority of our fish came on the popsicle colored slim minnow on a one ounce jig head Can 
the candles glitter like you're in a thriller. Heart goes pom pom pom. Ghostly figures they can get so good and show you want to enter. You can turn back to you. After one hour and one pass, we're halfway to our three-man limit. We got eight fish in the box. Lost a bunch of fish too. I think what's important to note, one of the primary differences between spring fishing and fall fishing, is to a large degree you have to ignore many of your spring fishing spots. Your spring fish are concerned primarily about spawning. Your fall fish are concerned primarily about eating. Your fall fish are trying to fatten up for the winter, which drives them to different places in the river than where they look to spawn in your spring spots. Yeah. 
It's that color change, eh? You left that kind of black hat on you? I think I can. Yeah. Okay. Black chartreuse and lead. <laughs> Woo! Nice catch. Nice catch. Good thing we didn't goop out too much of it. We're an hour and a half. We're an hour and a half in. We need three fish fill out our limit. Fantastic morning. Perfect weather. Yeah. Wind laid down to single digits. Fall fishing don't get no better than this. Friends, in the spring when we're out here jigging for walleye in the river, the trick to finding fish has everything to do with spawning habitat. So we're oftentimes fishing sometimes really shallow water where there's good spawning habitat. In the fall, however, everything is about bait fish. It doesn't make any sense to waste any time in an area that's not holding bait fish. Generally, the areas of the river, in my experience, in the fall, more often than not, the bait fish are holding in the deeper areas of the river. In the fall, I generally don't even consider water under 20 foot deep. And hey guys, last but certainly not least, there's times in the spring when this is important also, but in the fall, it's critical to locate your schools of fish and keep your drifts short. Keep your drifting passes as short as you can to stay on your schools of fish. Because your schools of fish in the fall are absolutely going to be related to bait fish. So you want to keep your drifts short, stay on the bait fish, and you'll stay on the walleye. But guys, we just had a fantastic weekend. Uh, Halloween's just a few days from now, so the month of October is just about over. But this fall bite will carry well into November. Sometimes if you stay with those fish, you can even find them in December. So guys, make sure to get out here and find some of these fall walleye. Hey guys, we say it on this channel all the time, there's only two kinds of men in this world. There are men that need Christ, and there are men that need more of Christ. We have another channel, TJO Men's Ministries, where we focus exclusively on sharing the Word of God and helping men take a deeper dive in their relationship with Jesus Christ, or helping guys that are exploring faith in Jesus Christ. So guys, we'll leave a link at the end of the video, but make sure to check that out. There's no more important thing that you will do in this life than to prepare yourself for eternity. Guys, we are all born in a depraved, sinful condition, separated from God. And the only way to spend eternity with God is to resolve that 
by placing our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and becoming a follower of Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. God bless, tight lines. We'll see you guys on the river.